Hello viewers, welcome to this video, right? In this video, we will be looking at MongoDB capped collections. So capped collections are like normal collections. You can store documents in a capped collections, but uh, the way it differs from a normal collection is uh, it has got a fixed size that you define. So you can say my collection uh, will have a size of 500 meg or a couple of gigs, or you can say my collections will have a maximum of uh, 1000 documents in it. So the way it works is once you define a capped collection, so once you create a capped collection by specifying the size or the number of documents, then you keep inserting the documents and the last document will get dropped automatically. So when you say you've set a limit of thousand documents and you keep inserting documents into this uh, capped collection, uh, once it reaches thousand documents and if you keep inserting the document, uh, the oldest document uh, gets dropped. So it always maintains the last thousand documents or uh, the last uh, 500 meg of your collection. So you're specifying the size, desired size or the desired number of documents. So that's what we will be looking at uh, in this video. It's going to be a very quick demo, unlike my other videos, which takes around 30 minutes. So let's get started. So I'm going to run a Docker container for MongoDB. Let me increase my screen size a bit. Okay, so docker run, that's the command I'm going to run, docker run in daemon mode, I'm going to map 27017 to my host machine, I'm giving it a name mongo, I'm creating a docker volume data for persistence, and I'm running the mongo container image. Okay, that's running, docker ps, and that's running fine, sudo netstat minus nltp and if i grab for docker we have that one here 27017 okay so i've also got mongo shell installed and uh, mongo minus minus version so that's my shell version which is uh, 4.0.8 now let's try and connect to the uh, mongodb database or mongodb container mongo just i can type mongo because it's running on my local host it's not a, it's not running on my local host it's running a, a, in a container on my local host but the ports are mapped so i can just type no authentication or anything so if i just type mongo i've got my shell okay db dot version and the server version that i'm running is 4.0.10 it's all looking good and now let's create a capped collection so the command is db dot okay so first we need to create a database show dbs db so we are in the test database and um, cls let's create a new database use database test db or something okay so we are in the test db show collections it's an empty database so you won't see any collection so the first thing is we are going to create a collection db dot create collection and you have to pass in uh, the name of the collection let's call it movies and then you'll have to pass uh, the size and the number of documents the size is mandatory by the way uh, capped set that to true so we are saying that this collection is a capped collection so capped should be set to true and then size and you can say the size is in the number of bytes okay so let's say i want like thousand bytes which is um, um around a meg okay so let's say 1024 bytes which is a kilobyte or if you want a meg or a gig just play with the size i'm just going to say thousand bytes which is uh one kilobyte um let's say ten thousand and that's that's more than enough so that will create a capped collection with a maximum size of 10,000 bytes so if it exceeds that the oldest document will get dropped but to show you an example you can use the max option here and I'm going to say max document 2 just for the uh, sake of this demo so it can this capped collection can contain only a maximum of two uh, documents in this collection okay so that's done show collections we have our movies collection let's try and insert do some documents into this movies collection db.movies.find.pretty it's empty we haven't got anything so db.movies.insert1 let's insert our first document let's call it uh, the first field let's just give it a single field 
title hello one there's no movie called hello one but just let's create this document okay that's done and if i do find so that's our document that we just inserted i'm going to insert another document hello two and if i do find so now you can see here there are two documents hello one and hello two and we have set the cap collection size to be the number of documents to be two so if I insert the third document now, uh, the first document that we inserted will get dropped automatically so that always the size of this collection will be two documents. Okay, hello2 was the one we recently added. So it's like first in, first out. Uh, the first uh, document we inserted was this, this one. So the oldest document will get dropped automatically. Okay, let's create our third document. Okay, our third document inserted. And now if I look at the command output, you can see it still has only two documents. The oldest document, which is hello one got dropped. And if I keep adding the documents four. okay, and there you go. The hello two document is now gone. So that's quite simple. That's the, uh, the capped collection. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. Hope you liked it. Please share it with your friends if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions, let me know and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.